Hey, Doug here, Fiero Doug. Uh, just finished my Atari 1030 modem, and inside is the FujiNet uh, through hole board that you can build yourself. I got the link to the GitHub down below. It's like version 1.3F of, of the FujiNet hardware that you can build yourself. Just get a PCB made and solder it together. So let me switch this on. So uh, this is the power light for the FujiNet. I'm powering it externally off 5 volts. And this is the Wi-Fi light, so we're connected to Wi-Fi now. Now, I have a very tight desk here <laughs> set up for my Atari. So the 1030 is here. Here's my Atari 850. My uh, two 1050 drives are down here. And then my 800XL is on my desk, along with a 1010 recorder, 1020 printer, a Gemini 10X, really tight. So what I did is I made this remote that is attached to the 1030, comes out the, uh, the wiring, comes out the back of the 1030 through where the phone jack used to come. So Fujinet's all ready to go. Let's power up the 800. XL and there's FujiNet booting and we got it working and there we go a working FujiNet inside of a Atari 1030 modem with this handy dandy remote. I also put the uh, the micro SD cards right here and the A, B and reset buttons and lights for SIO uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi so they're all right on top of my monitor where it's easy to see them and easy to get to. And uh, throughout this video, I'll put some of the pictures of what the inside of the 1030 looks like. It's kind of a mess. Of wiring, it was a lot of wires to hook up. But uh, I'm really happy with it. Uh, like I said, I'll have some links below. And uh, that's it. Talk to you guys later.